next guy that we're going to have a look at is this one behind me here. He is referred to commonly as two names, either the stilted mangrove or the spotted mangrove, and probably for two reasons. The stilted mangrove, because of its root system, and you can see above the muddy surface, we have what's called aerial prop roots. On these aerial prop roots, we have these bumps or lumps that are coming across, and they're called lenticels. And you'll find that these aerial prop roots keep expanding and going further and further which are going to add for a number of things. It's going to give support to the tree. It also is going to stabilise this area so that the, uh, the filters of the water coming in and out won't erode the sand and the soil too much. And the other awesome job that these roots do is provide a sanctuary or a nursery for small fish when they come in and they're trying to avoid predators. If you have a look into the big areas in there, when the tide comes in, the small fish can find their way right into the middle. There's no way that a large predator fish would chase it in there, being scared that it gets stuck. If we have a look up at the leaves, we have to classify it then. If we go to our dichotomous key, once again the first question is, are the leaves opposite or alternate? If we have a look at them, they come out in bunches of about four, most of them. But if we pull the leaves back, you can still see the top two leaves, they come into the stem directly opposite each other. The next two, once again, directly opposite each other. So this guy would go to question number one, definitely got opposite leaves. We have a look underneath. Are the leaves yellowy green? Well, here's the one that we looked at just a moment ago, the grey. If we compare the two undersides, try and get them down for you. This one definitely does not look like that underside. So the answer would be no to this one. The next question on the dichotomous key says, are there aerial prop roots? The answer is yes. So this one's called the stilted or the spotted mangrove. Stilted because of the stilts coming out of the base or spotted because you come and have a look, you can see on the underside of the leaf, there are thousands of tiny little spots. So when you come to observe this, you'll see the stilts or the prop roots, and underneath this leaf, thousands of tiny little spots. One of the ways the spotted or stilted mangrove has adapted to living in the saltwater environment is by selecting particular leaves, pushing the salt into that leaf. You can see that it starts to go yellow and die. It then falls to the ground. Once it's fallen to the ground, that is an awesome food source for the crabs in the area who will grab that, take it down into their hole, and as it decays, the crabs can then use that as a food source. If we have a look up here, you can see there's one on the tree ready to go, just there. And only a matter of days now before that will fall down onto the mangrove floor, and the crabs will find that as one of their awesome food sources that will taste. Okay, so we've got an excellent example of the first few months of the stilted or spotted mangrove reproducing. Let's go from the leaf. The proper gill has grown into a nice, big, heavy, mature, ready to start finding and spotting the mangrove area. It drops down like a spear. As it comes down into the ground, it will spear in and stay standing. Once it's in the ground, similar to this one here, it will start to become stable with its root system. You can see the very top here, the first few leaves are about to break through. If you come over here, you can see this one just here has done that. This is only a couple of weeks old, I'd imagine, where the first two leaves have popped through. The next stage, it will start to grow stronger and larger. And here's a great example here. It's starting to get thick at the base. We've got some lenticels starting to grow out that rough area, keeping the salt water out, and we've got a couple of branches starting to work. The next stage in its cycle, it needs to start throwing out some aerial prop roots or some stilts. And we just go over a little bit this way, you can see at the base of this mangrove, we've got four starting to come out already. In behind, you can see there's a massive amount of them, and this is that area that which would be fantastic for a small fish to come in at high tide and hide from its predators. Thank you.